Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, I didn't know when my 20th win was going to come, and everybody was like, are you, like, stuck on the 19th? Because it's, like, the 9th is, like, not the lucky number in Korea. Yeah, so, like, yeah. everybody's, you're stuck in 19, maybe, and when is that 20 is going to come? And, you know, Australia has been, you know, the luckiest thing for me, and, you know, finally I get to reach that 20 in Australia. It's, a, you know, a special place to reach that position because, you know, I have so many friends, and um, my supporters are from Australia, and I really want to, you know, give, you know, them some present. A lot of fans in Australia. I was really surprised, you know, how many fans came out to watch this week. I was really thrilled to see them. And the golf course was just, you know, pristine condition. It's one of the best I've played. And it's just, uh, you know, great tournament golf course. And mm -hmm. I really enjoyed myself, you know, playing here today. Um, just the front nine was a little bit more easier for me, but the back nine was probably hard for everyone. Uh, the wind was blowing really hard. And, you know, I made a couple of bogeys, which which can happen. I mean, there I didn't really have that many birdie opportunities on the back nine. The back nine was playing brutal. It mm -hmm. was really hard. Mm -hmm. And um, I just told myself that if I could just, you know, keep making pars, it'll be good enough. And um, you know, the par save, I made some great par saves out there today. And, you know, I knew that, you know, a lot of people was going to struggle out there today. So I was just trying to, um, you know, try to take that advantage of that three shot I had yesterday, and which I just did. Ended up, yeah. Uh, you said at the beginning of the week that um, you were a little tired of, of buying food and after a week you had to throw it away because you were on the road again. Yeah. Has this sort of changed your thoughts? No, it doesn't really change. I mean, I mean, you always kind of dream of something that you don't have, you know, which I don't have because, you know, I'm traveling so much I'm on the road so much that, you know, I go back home, I spend like a week or two and then I'm gone again. So I'm like, do I go to grocery or do I just do a delivery? And <laughs> like, I'm just sick of just, you know, eating outside, like just not eating at home. And, and I try to take as much advantage as, as I can when I'm home, just trying to have some home meals and, um, yeah, it is hard. Traveling life is really hard, but um, you know that's you know what I am. That's what I need to do to do what I want, love to do. So um, you know that's I'm willing to take that risk definitely. And yeah, I mean probably after I retire, I'm gonna miss this life probably. So probably questions, please. Martin. In the I'm not sure whether you had time to look at the names on the trophy, but Kari yeah. Webb's there, uh, uh -huh. Laura Davies. Yeah. Jan Stevenson, Annika Sormston, um, what does that make you feel like? It's always, you know, great to put uh, my name on the beautiful trophy, and especially, you know, have, you know, such a nice winners on that trophy. It's just, you know, being a great to be part of. And, um, you know, Australian Open is a national title for the Australia, and, you know, I would love to, you know, have that title with me. Um, it's a great honour um, to put my name on among these legends in golf, and, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, later, 10, 20 years later, everybody look at those, you know, names and maybe one of my name, and then everybody think that it is their honour to be on there, so. And did you look at the leaderboards today? Uh, were you aware of what your situation was? Yeah. And was there a moment when you thought, yeah, I've, I've got this... Um, I thought after 17th birdie, you know, I saw the leaderboard on and I was three, three ahead and thought it was pretty safe. And I knew that 16 can happen, like six, number 16 tall, anything can happen. Like you can make bogey or double easily. And, um, I knew that I had to play the 16 really well. Um, after the 16, I was a little bit relieved and I thought, you know, maybe a par par finish or a birdie par finish will do it. But you said you, uh, weren't quite sure where your mm -hmm. next tournament win was going to come by. Mm -hmm. so what's your emotion now then? Is it relief or joy or a mix of both? Or? Well, I think it's really the joy that I am mm -hmm. feeling um, and the relief, uh, yeah, I guess. Um, you know, because I just didn't know when it was going to come. It took like um, almost two years to come and, you know, I have been missing them quite a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, really good to have the trophy again and, I mean, nothing is really going to change. Um, this year is very important year. Um, to make the Korean national team is not the easiest task and you know this might we might not do it yet just yet so I still got to play really good golf and you know there are you know great competitors out on the LPG tour um, really makes me improve every every day and every year um, uh, it's great to have competitors like that I think it's just it's better for everyone yeah MB, how much pressure did you put on yourself in the last two years to come back out and win? And did you do make any changes? Have you done anything different in that time? No, you know, nothing really different, but my putter really hasn't been working the last couple of years. And, you know, I felt like my I was hitting the ball really just fine. Um, just 
just like I've you know won before. Like just like you know I was hitting in 2013, 14 when I was winning majors, and you know nothing was different, but just the putter was different. So um, I was just trying to get that putter back, and you know this week has been a really great putting week. So and that really tells you. You know, golf is all about putting. You know, it comes down to all about putting and all about like stroke or two at the end of the day. So, well. Imbi, we we marvelled at the sixty sevens and sixty eights that got you there, but as you said, it was harder than anything today. Mm. Putts on six, yeah. eight, mm -hmm. twelve, yeah. bunker shot on fifteen, which yeah. was the one where you sort of thought, I got to make this one now. I th I thought I had to, I definitely had to make up and down on 15th because um it was a bad third shot and you know I knew that I you know make a bogey there as 16 is a hard hole coming up so I, I thought you know birdie or par finish on the 15th will definitely you know secure it a little bit so um I I thought the 15th up and down was great because we've all been talking including you about your putting mm -hmm. some of those key par putts today yeah. were amazing yeah. Yeah, um, you know, that's something that really has been letting me down last couple of years. And this week has been really different. You know, those clutch putts, you know, those par safe putts has been going in. And, you know, that's why I haven't been losing a lot of shots when I uh, was in trouble. Um, yeah, I think that really came down maybe a couple strokes every day. That's, you know, eight at the end of the, at the, end of the week. So. You mentioned Brad uh, in the mm -hmm. presentation. He's pretty integral to you, obviously. Yeah. An important part of winning it in Australia for you. Yeah, I mean, he's Australian and he has been on my back for 14 years. So it's been a long time with him. And, you know, he always want. he's Australian. He loves, you know, Australia. And every time we play in U.S., he flies back home when even there's like five days off. So, <laughs> like, it's, it's not a short way to go. But, yeah, he, he just loves Australia that much. And, you know, being able to win um, in front of him in Australia is just a, it's a great, great. Pretty impressive crowds, weren't they? Like when you turn up the yeah. 18 there and see it all unfold. Yeah. Did, it's did he have a tear in his eye maybe? Did you have a tear <laughs> in your eye? Uh, very rarely, but <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, great to see. A lot of my friends came out to um, congratulate me and a lot of the golf fan, Australian golf fan, fans were out there watching. And yeah, it's, uh, it was a great moment to enjoy. I really enjoyed that walk. Any more questions, ladies and gentlemen? Please join me in thanking okay. him and the winner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.